Now, there have been more demonstrations against the military coup on the streets of the Thai capital, Bangkok. The army has banned gatherings of more than five people at a time and followed up the detention of politicians and academics by summoning 18 newspaper editors to meetings. Our Asia correspondent John Sparks is in Bangkok. There were plenty of troops in central Bangkok this morning, but they hadn't come for breakfast at this restaurant. Instead, there were rumors of a protest and the Royal Thai Army had orders to stop it. The first challenge was laid down by this man, who said, I'm ashamed to call myself Thai. Here's a solitary voice speaking out against the generals who took power in a coup three days ago. His name was Pinho, and he was breaking the rules. He was soon dragged away by the troops. The Battle of McDonald's has begun. I'm not sure if this is the end of it or just the opening skirmish. But the military are taking a much more aggressive approach. He was surrounded by soldiers, but he wasn't silenced. And a morning shopper tried to intervene. Still, they weren't listening. How do you feel? Awful. I have ever seen. The arrest of one protester has caused chaos here in the centre of Bangkok. And I think that gives you an idea of just how volatile the situation is here. The military has promised to restore law and order in Thailand, but they seem to struggle in central Bangkok today. The moment you take away people's rights, you take away everything they have. We're living under a dictatorship. Unfazed by the army's prohibition on gatherings, pop-up protesters made their presence felt. On this pedestrian walkway and the front steps of McDonald's in the center of town. The crowd was large and boisterous, and the authorities seemed overwhelmed. They weren't dealing with a single protester anymore. The crowd came to support a politician who's wanted by the military. He didn't make an appearance, but a thousand others did. You don't seem to have full control of the situation. It's under control. We could talk to them. If you're going to disperse these protesters, you're going to have to use a much more forceful approach. Well, it's up to the army to make that decision. Today, the country's new ruler, General Prayut, told people not to join the protests. Normal democratic principles could not be applied. And here's an example. Prawit Rochanapruk, a journalist and Oxford fellow, was detained with six others today, these pictures taken before he entered an army base. The protests are growing. Activists block traffic at a large city intersection today, and while they are still relatively small, the participants seem emboldened. John Sparks, Channel 4 News, Bangkok. The award